Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So this is the look that we're creating today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump right into this tutorial. All right, so whenever you guys see me with my little headband on, that just means I'm about to record. Today, I'm going to be recording um, an eye look with this palette. So I'm gonna just get right into this. Um, I have skincare on that I've had on for a few hours now, so the only time that you will catch me using a primer is if it's something glowy or if I've had my base on for like a while, like my skin prep. So I'm gonna prep again, and I'm gonna use the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. You kinda get like a healthy amount of that. also have the little vitamin enriched base is this the real the real size of this okay so I'm gonna just put this under my eyes and tap it out so it's actually been a long time since I've used this foundation but I kind of want to be a little bit matte today so I'm gonna use my Fenty what color is this yeah, 370. Um, okay. I'm gonna just use this brush here. This is the Sephora Pro 49 brush. That's what I'm gonna use for my foundation today. I forgot how nice this formula was. I'm gonna go really, really bright with my concealer today. So if it looks a little orangey, it's all cool because we're gonna balance it out. Hmm, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I use the Pro Filter, the original from Fenty in shade 370. And then the concealer, I'm gonna go pretty bright today. And this is in shade 300. Usually I would use shade 330, but I'm gonna go on it. I'm just gonna go there today. As far as the brushes that I'm using, I love Sephora's brushes. They're so freaking nice. The originals, I haven't used the other, like the new ones yet. So yeah, this is what I'm using. And I'm gonna blend out under here. So I'm gonna end up looking a little crazy like that, which is cool. Use your foundation brush your sponge whatever you're gonna use and just diffuse the edges it kind of starts to look pretty similar like all blended once you put your powders on and stuff like that but I purposely want the under eyes to be pretty bright so I feel like they're not gonna allow me to post any of this because I'm playing Aaliyah <sighs> you know that whole situation I'm taking the rest because this is actually a lot of concealer. This is like a lot of concealer, okay? So I'm gonna take the rest and I'm just putting it on my eyelids. And then just using my foundation brush, just kind of blending. You wanna just kind of blend everything together. Just blend out those edges. Okay. and boom you're gonna look crazy just like that okay so now we're gonna use the matchstick and truffle it's my favorite I'm just gonna warm it up in the back of my hand I'm gonna get like a healthy amount of that like about that much and then I'm gonna use another brush just kind of get that all in there and then I'm gonna place that right there and then start working it up, up the cheekbone um, I usually put it here, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'm just not. I'm just going to bring this right here. So I'm bringing this up on the forehead as well. 
I have a big forehead, so I kind of bring mine a little low. All right, so using summertime wine, I'm gonna kind of get kind of a lot. And it's gonna look really clownish at first. And I'm just gonna blend that, blend it all out. So I'm putting on kind of a lot because once I put my powder on, all of this is kind of gonna, gonna go away. So it's not a bother to me to add a lot of blush. Okay, so in the case that I've gotten a little carried away, I'm gonna use another matchstick and this is in caramel. And I'm gonna just pop that right there. I'm using the same brush that I use for my concealer and I'm gonna just First, I'm gonna create that crazy line. Pack it down some. Just so that that line doesn't just like stay there. I'm gonna go back in with my um, foundation brush. I'm gonna just kinda blend up. That way that line just doesn't stay there so like Heavy. We want it to kind of be there, but we don't want it to like stay like as bright as it was. We want it to kind of be blended in. Okay, I just kind of turned some things down. All right, so now I'm gonna use my little sponge from Tati Beauty. I'm kind of gonna get enough of that powder on that puff. And with this brush, I'll hold it up. Ugh. I'll hold it up. And then push this powder in. And while I'm at it, I'm kind of going to just put this everywhere on this side and just start setting. So now I'm using this powder brush, Fenty in Caramel Cutie. And I'm gonna powder some more, but I'm gonna use bronzer. Get that all over my five head. Last powder I'm gonna use is these mineralized dark golden powder. It looks like that. And I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna just get this all over, just kind of buff everything together all right so now I'm gonna use Mac um, desert rose it is my favorite blush one of my favorites kind of just gonna swirl that everywhere once I've deposited it wherever I wanted it <laughs> so we're looking like that right now so now I'm gonna use Becca this is probably one of my favorite it's so pretty I'm gonna use oh I'm gonna just mix all three of these right here I'm gonna just mix them and that's gonna be my blush slash highlight I'm gonna use this Mac stippling brush the 139 I'm gonna put this right there So it gives you like a nice glow. I love putting this on the forehead as well. I like to put my, my highlight there as well um, because it just kind of gives the illusion that your your skin is like not as dry as it, as it really is. But, and then I'm gonna go back into just the highlight and I'm gonna just add that, just add that right up here. I'm gonna add a little bit down to the nose, down the nose. I didn't even, I didn't even contour my nose. Wow. I'm gonna get it into my brows just a little bit. Okay, so basically, from the rest of the video, basically, it's gonna be a voiceover. I'm so sorry about that, you guys, because 
Uh, my girlfriend came over and, you know, we were having like a good old conversation. So I didn't want like all that to be in this video. Anyways, the first shade that I used was Sahara. And then I started going in with Coco. And that's how I'm like defining my crease and shaping and mapping out that, um, that good old cut crease. And then I decided um, to go back in with Sahara and Pastel Melon to like kind of diffuse it a little bit and then what I did was take some Inglot um Geraline I think it's called and then I dipped into mini frost and then coated that all over the eyeball <laughs> and then got the, it's like a really pretty icy blue as you guys can see and then using that same Inglot I used Tiger Lily to line my uh my eyes to get that pretty blue color and then going back in with coco i'm smoking out the bottom lash line and using a mario pencil the blue color it's so freaking pretty and then put some mascara on and this is the final look you guys so it is my birthday month and i decided to just go ahead and upload this on here so i hope you guys enjoy this i love the look so much